things like why is it such a big thing if i'm pregnant and we're working i mean if you can don't everybody they go to yeah. work they go to you know their desk Absolutely. jobs they do that and if you feel fit you can work in front of the camera if you want to <coughs> no of course people were always like don't get married you know but i'm saying that it's it's these are i think things that now of course i did and then now everybody's you know it's cool to be married and now it's like fine we did one scene from the beginning of the film when she's younger when she's 18 and then we did the scene when she becomes a little older when she's 45 50 yeah. but like i think that when i was reading the scene i nailed the part I can do a movie for free also if i want it's up to me it's yeah. my decision yeah. and <clears throat> and like i i mean this divide that's what i said this divide cannot be in cinema no it has to be like you yeah. want to see somebody for the love of their craft i don't include negativity so i don't read my comments i think that they've also respected us in a way that where they're like listen i'm like you know getting your picture that's it and then now after that it's fine no you can't keep going on at it yeah so i think maybe there is that sense of respect also which i'm hoping that because we've never really shied away from anything or lied about anything gone anywhere you know we're always giving pictures in real life not many people know that actually uh, saif proposed you twice and you rejected or is it true I mean yeah I don't even remember now I'm like yeah maybe <laughs> maybe was it twice or more and I'm like yeah <laughs> Unfortunately she came at a time when actually female actors were boxed and typecast but I think she gave um other actors the freedom that they are enjoying today because she broke <coughs> out of that box and created a new rule book a rule book that everybody follows today welcoming in conversation with me on bollywood bubble karina kapoor khan the queen i love her <laughs> I think everybody is saying, "Are but you always yeah, say this that you are rubbish." But but it's a yeah, fact. Yeah, but it's the truth. It's nah? the truth. Yeah, yeah. I it's also the, know that. Yeah, it's the truth <laughs> that I think I've been uh, I've idolized you all my life. Hmm. Also, because you know, whether it's a man or a woman, you were always uh, from the very beginning unapologetically yourself, yeah. Karina. When you came. There was that uh, thing a heroine should behave this way talk this way walk this way you completely changed it you never conformed to the norms initially was it difficult at all for you No I think I was always what I you know am I spoke my mind I did the films I wanted to I kind of that's something that that hasn't changed even now I think what's happened now is probably just I've just had a little more calmness because yeah. after you work for so many years you kind of you know you know all the ups and downs brick bats you've seen all of it it kind of makes you more self assured more calm more confident just chilled true you know? so i think it's obviously over time that has hap- that has happened also you know you have broken a lot of those gender stereotypes in mm. a lot of ways you know it's not just the film industry i remember when um we really wedding was being planned uh, you got pregnant and initially the plan was to shoot while you were pregnant yeah. right Uh, which eventually didn't happen but in this movie you you shot till the last day of your pregnancy last time yeah. you have shot a film during your pregnancy this time and you continue to right yeah. after delivering you again uh, do you think that this gender norms now need to be normalized of course but that's why i always ask people that when they ask me these questions that it shouldn't be even a question True. i think people are actions should speak louder than words we should just normalize things like why is it such a big thing if i'm pregnant and we're working i mean if you can don't everybody they go to yeah. work they go to you know their Absolutely. desk jobs they do that and if you feel fit you can work in front of the camera if you want to you should it's do a choice it. yeah it's a choice that you have to decide what you want to do and if i have decided to do that then i've obviously sensibly taken that decision and done it so it shouldn't be like you know like a big thing that why are we talking about it or like you know i'm like just normalize it na that it's fine your last few films have uh, raked huge numbers hmm. you know and also the number might be just a number but it's also proof of the audience's love and the audience's um, uh, interest in you right hmm. like today when i posted a question sticker for your fans i have got like all, if if i'm not wrong i've got almost 1300 plus questions for hmm. you which is hmm. which is unimaginable for a lot of actors today do you somewhere feel that when you were doing all this when you were trying to make a new rule book there were a lot of eyebrows and questions raised when you got married when you had a baby do you think that a lot of times people have wanted to like say that it's over for you <clears throat> no of course people were always like don't get married it'll be over but i'm saying that it's it's these are i think things that now of course i did and then now 
everybody's you know it's cool to be married yeah. and now it's like fine you True. know but the whole idea is that you have to do things when you want to do them like i wanted to i wanted to be like okay fine what will happen it's fine no it won't get work but i wanted to get married at that point of time and so i did it so it i don't know why it's it was no blueprint plan that i have to do this and then do that and i don't have anybody like you yeah. know giving me these advice over sitting and planning and like you know i mean i'm the last person to do all this like i mean you yourself tell me you can't get in touch i don't do interviews i'm like no i'll you know we'll meet when we have like a, something true. to talk about something interesting like a film should be there so there's been no plan yeah it's just been like following exactly what i want to do and then theek hai na if it's broken boundaries in any which way it has for the for the 22 year old long career that you've had i don't think you've ever auditioned or screen tested for a film this is your first hmm. in the beginning did it come as a, like a shock or a surprise when you were asked to do a screen test you know you know if anybody if it was anybody who would it be but amir khan because he's such a person who is so kind of like he just wants to be sure on everything that's his kind of personality that's his nature that's the way he works so when he asked me that he i wasn't even offended i was like he's like i don't want to put down your body of work i'm not trying to tell you anything of that sort and i was like no i mean i understand and said was like listen i'm sure he's not doing that he just wants to be 100% sure that if you can play that arc that's required and there's no harm in kind of you know showing him that you can yeah what was his reaction when he saw the screen test what which scene did you do we did one scene from the beginning of the film when she's younger when she's 18 and then we did the scene when she becomes a little older when she's 45 50 yeah. but like i think that when i was reading the scene i nailed the part so i inside i was like i think so ha huh? then i think the rest was history because i think pretty much he when he left and by the time he reached down within half an hour he called me he was like listen i'm like you know this is it I yeah, don't think true. I can like you know. Uh, I found my Rupa. Rupa is a very layered character, you know. There are shades of grey. Yeah, this yeah, character. yeah. That's why I loved it, and it's not like you know. Of course, Amir Khan is in the film, and he's remaking Forrest Gump and everything, but that wasn't that wasn't the drive to be a part of this film. The drive was Rupa. The drive was Jenny's character, the way they wrote yeah. because her character was also very iconic. Yeah. and you've always seen me as poo you've seen me as geet you've seen me as like you know all the characters which are like you know the bubbly relatable, kinds yeah. and the relatable ones but this character i feel is something that is she's she's very raw she's very brave she's very like she has her life she's grey you won't imagine like bebo playing the part but then when you see it you know hopefully people will be like okay that's this is it but do you do you look back at your career like when i look back at your career and i feel like you've done something which is very unbeboish hmm. um it has always always worked, worked in your favor yeah. you know whether it's a chameli whether it's oh, an omkara yeah, you know, yuga, people, yeah exactly people didn't expect you to do those things do you somewhere feel like <coughs> now you're at a stage where you have you can't lose anything because of a film right like you will not lose your stardom because of a film that that stage is long gone do you think that you are you are allowed to take these kind of risks more often now i think so i think that now i'm just like but i took risks earlier also yeah, exactly. so it's not like that i'm running away from that i will now it's like that's what excited me it just happened like i said amir khan is making the yeah. film or i'm working with sujoy and working with jaydeep and vijay which is new for me because um you know you wouldn't think that you know see me in a that kind of a setup because now i think i have to also push myself i have to also kind of you know um to last another 22 years it Absolutely. has to be there has to be 22 okay, will last another 50 inshallah but we have to see we have to see like what happens and everything didn't you just say that you want to act till your 80 yeah i will always act till i'm like and i also want to be a journalist till karina kapoor act yeah fab that <laughs> i think the way you're going 100% you will be. Anna, yeah yeah this, yeah. Is, this is the this is the end goal uh, yeah the this end, is the end goal end game. yeah yeah, yeah. End game. um but i want to ask you that karina you know you have always been iconic in your way of um researching for a character you mm. know I, and everybody says that you're very impromptu on the set and everything uh, amir sir works in a very different fashion yeah. from your your the way the the working ways are very difficult different, different and very, was very. it difficult for you 
Yeah, but now I mean, like I think I kind of know because I've worked with him in Three Idiots yeah. and Talash. But of course, this film because being a very difficult character and he was producing the film as well and he was like fully involved and everything. Not that he's never not involved, but yeah, that's true. Uh, but I think it's just that there's something about Amir and me that when we come together, because I think we're different kind of actors. There's just this kind of chemistry that is just it just works. It's like you just love them together on screen. and you know we kind of feed off each other's energy when we're working because he's like super planned and he knows like what he's doing and i'm just like okay fine you know i'm like i'm going to like i don't know what i'm going to do and i'm going to just feel it and and it just kind of there's some sort of chemistry that just happens in the trailer we see um rupa's character rejecting Ra- lal's proposal and you know shaadi ka hmm. thing quite a number of times like at least once we see in the trailer um i've seen forest camp like you know we know about forest camp and that's exactly what yeah. happens in real life not many people know that actually uh, saif proposed you twice and you rejected or is it true i mean yeah i don't even remember now i'm like yeah maybe <laughs> maybe was it twice or more and then i'm like yeah <laughs> yeah but what's important is that finally i said yes but wh- why did you reject me <laughs> i was still in love yeah yeah still in love maybe i thought that it was like too soon or you know like we had just like kind of known each other a little bit and then it's you know i think maybe it was because of that that's yeah. all but i think i was always sure that i was going to marry him you have always been sure about things that you do otherwise yeah. you never do it people who know you will say the same but at times you know despite having a legacy you come from a film family but you've made your own career i feel that people love you for who you are not from where you come from to be very honest of course and that's only because of peop- how people have connected to you as a human being and as an actor hmm. despite that today there has been this intact in intact cancel culture and boycott culture hmm. and it, it's it's getting normalized in a lot of ways which hmm. is really really uh, terrible what do you have to say about that like when people like completely um overlook people's uh, yeah. careers because they belong to a family yeah but i think that I, i maybe it's just like a like it's on social media which is like i don't know how many people what it is is it's just the trolls doing it i don't even know all this because i come from a a, a pure belief that where people if they love you and they've loved you and they're in search of good cinema they'll come and watch your film yeah. no matter what you say so i i don't believe in that I will I believe in the power of good cinema and I believe that Lal Singh Chadha is such a good movie yeah. so I want people to see it and I want people to come to the theater and see the movie the last time we spoke you were not on social media now you are on it yeah. so you get a daily um you know day to day update on what is happening and yeah. also there's a lot of negativity that is also spread on social media i understand that you are calm when you have to handle trolls about yourself but when it comes to your family when it comes to your kids who are not even aware of what's happening how do you tackle that because there have been so many instances yeah of course but i feel that you know because my page is very it's only for people that uh it spreads positivity it's not i don't include negativity so i don't read my comments also i feel instagram uh is a lot more kind inclusive of, yeah because it's pictorial so it's it's not that negative and maybe that's why i'm not on twitter because i don't want to have that this kind of open war I, i'm not interested because i i'm 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 a very positive person yeah. and i spread positivity and happiness wherever i go because i'm i'm happy so i want that's the way you know life should be i know that uh, you were not offered sita but i remember posting about it because there was a point yeah. where it reached to a level i i remember mm. posting that because i was feeling that uh, there was an entire um, section trying to divide on the basis of who you have married and uh, you know completely disregarding you you wear both the religions very very well you know yeah. you you've adapted yourself that way and, and you're secular but sometimes when these things happen even if you ask for your price which i feel that even if that was the true story you deserve that price yeah. that's but i wasn't my, offered the film also yeah but 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 the, the idea is something else. yeah the idea is that i can do a movie for free also if i want it's up to me it's yeah. my decision yeah. and <clears throat> and like i i mean this divide that's what i said this divide cannot be in cinema no it has to be like you yeah. want to see somebody for the love of their craft not because of who they are or where they come from yeah that's what i believe in and i mean i'm i'm hoping that's you know just like a section and it's not like you know Yeah, the I, entire it is not audience. 
It is not. No, it's I think proof. So. Your movies have done 200 crore business. Good news yeah, has done. Yeah, of course. Viridi Wedding has done 80 plus, yeah. 90 plus. Which is, which is, I think, um, proof of people loving you. Um, but, but now with Jay, I feel that with Jay, you guys have made sure that the paparazzi culture is not like crazy. Was it a conscious thing? No, I think that they've also respected us in a way that where they're like, listen, I'm like, you know, getting your picture, that's it. And then now after that, it's fine. No? You can't keep going on at it. Yeah. So I think maybe there is that sense of respect also, which I'm hoping that because we've never really shied away from anything or lied about anything, gone anywhere. You know, we're always giving pictures. And I think people should just appreciate and I think they do. So then when I'm like, you know, okay, now it's enough. I think they kind of, but I have to tell you, uh, Karina, that um, no time is enough to actually celebrate you and the films that you do and the legacy that you have created. And I know that um, at heart, you are exactly the person that we see you on screen as. And uh, you're an amazing human being. And you were an icon. You are an icon. No, and you will please. be an icon. You are an icon. You're dressed like an icon. Because now. I met my favorite <laughs> icon today. That's why I had to dress my part. Oh, but uh, genuinely, Karina, all the more love and luck to you and the entire family. And uh, this movie is going to work wonders. And I know it. I just hope that you keep doing more films so that we meet more often. I know. That uh, you want to interview me. Exactly. <laughs> Done. Hi, this is Karina Kapoor Khan and you're watching me on Bollywood Bubble. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe.